Right, today we're going to be reviewing the Series 5 Apple Watch, Series 6 Apple Watch and the Series 7 Apple Watch and the big question as to whether you should be upgrading from any of these two to that one. Out of the box you can immediately tell the first difference. So the bezel sizes of the Series 5 and the Series 6 compared to the Series 7 it just it just makes a massive difference in my opinion you can see it looks really outdated compared to the new one each new generation has uh, come in different sizes so this one's the 40 this is the 44 and this is the brand new 45 millimeter uh, size wise this one and this one is it's a tad bigger obviously coming from the 40 millimeter is considerably larger as well um, I've got quite a small wrist, but I prefer having the larger 45mm on my hand. Now, coming from a Series 5 to a brand new Series 7, if you do plan on upgrading, you will find quite a lot of differences. Speed, battery, larger screen size, just like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, three very big upgrades in my opinion. You also have the blood oxygen monitor level thing, and I'll be honest, I rarely ever use it. Now I'm doing a quick startup test to see which of the watches loads quicker. Obviously the Series 7 should be the fastest seeing as it's the brand new one but let's see what the results show. Okay that's a bit of a surprise. Series 5 has somehow loaded quicker than the 6 and the 7 despite all being turned on at the same time which is a bit unexpected. Coming from a Series 6 to a Series 7, battery performance is roughly similar. I mean, for my Series 6, I really didn't get any good battery life. It just, for some reason, it just finished really quickly. And with this one, I'm kind of getting the same. So I don't really think there's any battery improvements, even if Apple do state there is. This one, I charged, I think, in the morning. And right now I'm on 20% which is a really not that great if I'm honest hopefully it fixes itself over time the series 5 of course with it being two generations older battery life on that isn't as good but it should really get you through a full day if I'm honest so what is an Apple watch used for personally I use it for health and fitness uh, notifications and of course telling the time okay so performance wise between the series 6 and 7 inside there's absolutely no difference whatsoever I believe this is the first time that Apple have kept the internals the same between both two models um, there aren't really any extra features as well so with this one you have the ECG um, as the main focal point uh, series 6 you had the blood oxygen monitor as the main focal point uh, series 7 uh, you don't have any new features apart from the larger screen i think apple are probably saving that for next year hopefully with a brand new square flat square redesign which is what i was hoping for this time around but i mean as you can see the watch itself it, it does look really nice or oh, i opted for the starlight uh, color and i must say I am quite impressed with it. And if I'm honest, if you already have the Series 6, there probably isn't any point in upgrading to the Series 7 unless you want a bigger screen and faster charging, which this one offers. If you have a Series 5, it might be worth upgrading to the new one. So Upgrading from the Series 6 to the 7 really doesn't make any sense unless you want the bigger screen like I uh, said before but how about upgrading from the Series 5 to the Series 7 or Series 4 as well they're roughly similar Coming from the Series 5 you're getting a brand new screen which is I think 20 or 30% larger to the Series 6 you're getting a much more powerful chip inside which is the s7 but like i said before in the video that's pretty much similar to the series 6. sooner rather than later apple will probably stop supporting the series 5 as well in future software updates so it makes sense to upgrade to the latest one 
Me, personally, I like to upgrade every year for some strange reason. Don't ask me why, it's just what I prefer. Same with iPhones. Here's what I think. If you want the Series 4 or the Series 5, upgrade to the Series 7. Why? Well, for starters, you've got a brand new design, uh, which is a larger screen as well. Fills up majority of the screen. It's faster. Battery life compared to that is much better. This will also be supported for longer as well in terms of software. Both are running watchOS 8. Uh, it feels much more smoother on this one compared to that one. Again, it's got the S5 chip, so it's less more powerful. The Series 7 also comes in larger sizes, so the 41mm and the 45. Uh, this one's currently the 40. Uh, and you can tell how small it is comparing both watches together. This is with the 40mm or 44mm. Slightly bigger. Overall, it just makes sense to upgrade from either the 4 or the 5 to the newest model. Now, with the Series 6, like I said, doesn't make that much sense to upgrade. Um, if this was an iPhone upgrade, I'd probably say this is the S model of that. Um, you're not really getting much with the newer model, like other people have said as well. In truth, it just really is the larger size of the screen compared to this one. You can see much more of the bezels. Whereas this, it fills up the majority of the screen, which I prefer. I mean, if you've got the money, yeah, sure, go ahead. I'm going to the Series 7, but personally, you probably should just save your money and wait for the Series 8, where Apple should introduce some new health features and potentially a brand new redesign. Hopefully, this has answered a few of your questions as to whether you should upgrade or not. Uh, it's my first proper review so go easy on me in the comments below and if there's anything else you wanted to know let me know and i'll try my best to answer thanks for watching the video